Hey there and welcome again to our channel, it's Nahar Geva here and in today's video I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step comprehensive guide on how to fight eBay competitors. In today's video I cover method number 3. 3 out of 4 methods which we already cover number 1 and number 2. So if you are here for the first time and you haven't watched number 1 and number 2, there is link in the description for this method but don't worry, you can watch number 3 and later on get back to number 1 and number 2. Now. If this video is going to reach 100 likes again, I'm going to show with you method number 4, which is how to analyze eBay competitors, how to analyze their performance, find the winning product, and learn new selling strategies. Back to method number 3, we're going to now jump into my screen and learn how to enrich your competitor list with new competitors every day. Let's get started. Today I'm going to give you tools to be more creative, to navigate between um, uh, new sellers to products, and not just go in eBay and search randomly or use the market insights tool. By the end of the day, when you sit a couple of hours and you're doing research, you want to find yourself flowing into new information all the time. And this method is exactly for that. Also, here we have two steps. Step one is five products with high competition. Uh, basically, while you're doing competitor research, you want to identify high competition products. The more competition there is, the more new competitors you will likely find later. So near to every product on the competitor research result, when you're inside a competitor, you have a button uh, called scan title button and you can go and you can basically click it and uh, analyze the title and the product. Now, use the scan title button. This is step number two. Use the scan title button to initiate product research, scan on the product you desire. This will open up the results and show you all competitors that's selling the same product. So you can go ahead and find more competitors. Now I know it's a lot of information, but I'm gonna share my screen now and I'm gonna show you how this exactly done. And you're gonna see that it's actually very powerful, very useful, and it will help you navigate the, the product research and competitor research in a very smooth way. Let's jump into my screen. All right, guys, so again, I'm inside Zeek Analytics, and as you can see, I'm on the competitor research. Uh, this method gonna start from this stage. So let's say you started your process right, you followed method one or method two, you went into the market insights, you scan one competitors, it's very nice competitors, but you wanna go ahead with your research, you wanna find more competitors that are relevant to you. So if you find one competitor that's relevant to you, it can lead you to more competitors and I'm gonna show you how. For this example, I'm using this competitor, it's a dropkeeper from Israel, uh, he's dropshipping from Amazon to eBay, as you can see, and what I'm going to do now to find more competitors is use his products and find the products that have the highest amount of competitors. So here we can see the image, the title, the upload date, the 30 day sales, the total sold, the current price, and we have the competitor column. The competitor column shows how many people sell this product, uh, same product based on the title from the same shipping location in our settings. And if there is 26 people selling this product, and this product is a product dropship from Amazon to eBay, most likely most of these 26 sellers are dropshippers who are doing Amazon to eBay dropshipping. So if you find one competitor, most likely that the other competitors that compete with the same uh, competitors, with the same sellers, will follow your business model. And this is already a very efficient decision making in the process. Now. I can go ahead here, you know, and look for a product with high amount of competitors. We can take this, for example, 35 competitors. And I also want to see, of course, that there is a lot of sales. This can be helpful, but the number one important thing is the amount of competitors. And then I will click the scan title button. Once I click scan title button, it will run the search of the title on the product research tool and will show me all the listings in the competition. If I'm looking here, I can see many sellers, as you can see, many, many sellers all have the same image. This is the seller information here, right? We have the, the flag, the name of the seller, the amount of feedbacks, and the amount of sales from this product. And first, we see that the images are repetitive, it means they're all probably dropshipping from Amazon to eBay. Second, uh, we want to analyze the country, the feedbacks, and the sales, and the selling price. Why? Let's go through it. Cardfrey says a lot about the community, says a lot about the profitability. Remember, I mentioned it before. Feedback's telling us a perspective on how long this seller is selling on eBay. If, it, if a seller has 100 feedbacks and he's the 99 feedbacks and he's the number one seller here, I like it. 
right? I want to follow him because he's a new and he's doing very well. So it means he, he knows what he's doing. And second thing is pricing. This guy have the lowest price here, almost, almost the lowest price here. I like to see sellers who are performing well with higher prices, okay? So this is our sellers that we came from, but you can see that you have $4.34, which is almost a dollar above this, and he's still performing well with five sales in the last 30 days. I can scroll down and I can look. Now, this guy selling it for $7.22, you have 85 uh, feedbacks. Yes, he haven't sold anything, but he's pricing his product high. So most likely it will help me find more profitable products. Uh, this guy here have 3,000 feedbacks. He's from Thailand, sell for 546, also higher than the, than the lowest price. And of course, that if you will follow sellers with only 85 feedbacks, you may find less products, but uh, around 3,000 is already a decent amount of feedbacks. However, I don't suggest you to skip the small sellers. The opposite, go through that. So if you come here, you can open multiple sellers. You can open this, and you can open this. You say, I hold the control button on the keyboard, and I click, and it will open automatically here, and then I can be more consistent. You can open this guy. This guy, I can open this guy, and that's enough. So I open one, two, three, four, five sellers. We can start from the fifth seller. This is an Egyptian dropkeeper, revenue of thirty of three thousand dollar five hundred ninety five a month, uh, five hundred active listings, five hundred seventy nine active listings, thirty one percent sell through rate. Don't worry. The next part, I'm going to focus on analyzing competitors. This is the last part of the video, so just stay tuned. You know, hold a bit more and we're going to go over it and learn how to analyze those sellers. But look how quickly I found five new sellers with a lot of products, a lot of information, a lot of things to do. Now, here is a good example of sellers that went to the waiting list. Some of the competitors that are not yet updated or been not updated in the, in the past few days will go to the waiting list so we can update them. So you can get an accurate result. This can take multiple minutes, okay? So this is just for you to know. And then another seller here, the Indian seller, and this guy's from Thailand, $16,000 revenue. As you can see, already a better seller in here. And this is how quick this is work. Now, if I found one seller and then it led me to another seller, I can use this seller to find even more seller. I do the same process. I look on the competitors. I scroll down, see, ah, this product has five competitors. It's exact match on Amazon. I'll click the scan title button. And again, I scroll down here and I found more competitors, okay? So this is the process and all that you need to do is just flow from one competitor to another and find many competitors. And now in the next part, I'm gonna teach you how to analyze those competitors, analyze their performance, find their best selling items, analyze their listings. So you can, first of all, gain knowledge about their selling strategies, find new products, and also know which competitors you want to save to your waiting list so you can go ahead and catch them and check them on a, on a weekly base or a monthly base for new products and build an army of competitors while working for you and finding products for you. See you on the next part.